in an evaluation, be methodical, go through accuracy, precision, reliability, validity, and then think, what else could I do? Be creative. What other science could we actually find out? Evaluation is going to be one of the hardest bits in GCC or A-level sciences. This is my recipe for writing an evaluation for any practical. You're going to need evaluative skills in your exams and you're going to want to write quality evaluations in your practicals, if that's core practicals, in A-levels or PAGs in GCCs, however that's going to be. And doing that evaluation is going to encourage you to work at those highest skill levels because evaluation, funnily enough, uses the evaluate skill level and the highest skill level, the creative skill level. And that's probably the hardest bit. So it's practice making perfect for those highest skills to get you the highest grades. Now, although evaluations are going to be the last thing you're probably going to write in a practical, it should probably be the longest bit of writing and you should probably have the most thought going into it. What I like to do is I like to split it down into little sections. First of all, think about how precise you were, because that's probably the easiest one to do. Precision is a measure of scatter from the mean or scatter from a line of best fit, especially in physics, it's going to be a scatter from a line of best fit. So you can just say, I was or was not precise. Um, you don't need to be any more detail than that at GCSE A level. There are ways to statistically measure precision, but at GCSE A level, you don't really need to do that. Um, you might wish to, uh, might be looking into standard deviations and using that as an indication of your precision. Improving precision, well there's lots of different ways you can do that. One of my favourite ones would be to actually uh, reduce the interval between results. But you could also use a meter that read to more decimal places and that tends to improve your precision. Sometimes your meter, the resolution of the meter doesn't give you enough decimal places to give you the precision that you need to show your trend. So next you talk about accuracy, and accuracy means how far away from a true value you were. Sometimes in the experiment you're not going to actually know what the true value are, so you can think about it as like, well, um, did it match the kind of theory that you were expecting? Did it show the trend you were expecting? But sometimes you would know the true value, or at least the accepted value, the book value is what we call it. So for example, if you were measuring gravitational acceleration, how close were you to 9.81? And when we're thinking about improving that accuracy, you need to think about how you took the measurements. Accuracy comes down to the method, the way in which you did it. So talk about well, what was or was not accurate in the method that you used. The next thing is about the reliability, and reliability often comes down to the repeats, but it also comes down to how reproducible it is. So actually the exam boards really like these two words now, repeatable, reproducible. Repeatable means if you did the same experiment exactly the same again with the same apparatus, would you get the same result? So that can be seen directly. How many times did you repeat it? Did you get many anomalies? That can be your comment. Okay, I had an anomaly. What did you do with it? Okay. Reproducible is would somebody doing a similar experiment get the same findings? So are the conclusions the same? It doesn't matter that they got exactly the same results. Maybe they did a different range, maybe they used a different set of apparatus, but if they got the same conclusion, then that would be reproducible. And again, thinking about improving that can come down to, well, can you check with other people or can you get a larger set of data? And next is the biggie really is about validity. And validity comes down, first of all, just about good old fair testing. I hope you understand that okay. It's, it is about the controlled variables. Did you control all the factors apart from the independent variable? Did you allow something else to affect the final result other than the independent variable? So that's going to be your first thing. Is it or is it not a fair test? And if it wasn't, well, you can say which extra thing you'd need to control. Sometimes you can't control things, but there are statistical ways, there are mathematical model ways where you can actually ship out certain variables um, to not affect your result. But secondly, with validity, you need to think about the real world. We don't do science for science's sake. I know you love science, I know you love doing the physics, and I know you enjoy doing the experiments. I hope so. <laughs> but in the real world, we need to actually you know, do science for a reason, and that's going to be, well, do, does this science, does this physics actually help out with humanity? Does it actually, is it actually worth having done your experiment? What is the real world application? If you're talking about gravitational acceleration, is it about satellites? Is it about um, sports? 
what is the real world application? If you can't find a real world application, then you don't bother doing the science. Sometimes we don't know the real world application and we just want to progress knowledge for knowledge's sake, but um, we need to have an end game. We need to have some kind of reason for, for doing this, okay? And that might be in physics just about unification. We want to understand more. Okay, that's fine. And we'll find a use for it afterwards. But to be valid, it needs to be worthwhile. Improving that might also be about suggesting what to do next. And this is probably the hardest thing. You've done a practical, so tell the examiner or tell somebody reading your practical what else they could do, what else you might do, what's linked to this. So as I say, this evaluations are very open-ended and they can be as long as you want them to be, really. What could we do? What other science could we do based on this? What more could we try and find out based on your practical that you've done? Just to sum up, in an evaluation, be methodical, go through accuracy, precision, reliability, validity, and then think, what else could I do? Be creative. What other science could we actually find out? Okay, I hope that helps. I'm Kit Betts Masters and this is Guerrilla Physics. We're all about you understanding more so that you enjoy your physics more, so you get more confident and then you're going to do better in your exams. Thanks for watching.